Shepherd of Worm Church. I am so excited to be with you on video today. My name is Emily Clayton and I have the privilege of bringing to you a story of inspiration and encouragement. During this time, it can be incredibly discouraging to turn on the news or hear the stories of struggle and challenge in our communities. However, there is also some really great news and some wonderful people doing great things. Today we're going to hear a story about some crafters who have used their skills and abilities to bless others. Hello, this is a story about how and why a group of ladies from Rockford Reformed Church became the Masketeers and what motivates them. It all starts with a piece of fabric that was carefully chosen to become a quilt, a dress, or possible curtains. Then the fabric's destination is changed. A group of sewers from Rockford Reformed Church became aware of a potential need for masks. We have each drawn motivation from the uncertainty and the needs that the virus creates. Some of us have healthcare workers in our families who expressed concern over potential PPE shortages. The Spectrum Health provided a mask pattern. At this point, the sewing machines start humming several hours a day. We all have concerns for loved ones, friends, and community members in a goal to bring safety, peace, and comfort to others, especially those who are disadvantaged and have poor health and cultural or financial disadvantages. Recently, one sewer, she, she is motivated by faith beyond what the eye can see. And at the same time, another masketeer commented, I'm not as profound. I see masks as a means to the end. The quicker we get to the end, the happier we will all be. It's that simple. Virginia's granddaughters at the age of 10 and 12 are the youngest masketeers. As of today, 850 masks have been donated to members throughout the community. While we approach a thousand, one member is looking forward to the day she can return to making pot holders. Wrapped around each mask is a label that provides encouragement and invites people to be uplifted and gain some insight into these challenging times by joining us for a Sunday service. By handing out masks, RRC is having a positive impact on the community. Our community has responded with many thank yous. One day, it will make a masketeer smile to see you wear a mask. They may remember the fabric and tell you about the quilt, curtains, or dress it was intended to be. To you, we say thank you for all your donations of material, elastic, and money to help us su buy supplies so that we can continue to sew more masks. In closing, we want to thank God who sits beside us each day as we sew masks. He hears our prayers and he wipes away our tears as we remember a day when masks were only worn for Halloween. It is so cool to see what these crafters are up to. They have created over a thousand masks and 850 of them have already been donated to members of our church, members of our community, as well as police departments and health centers across the greater Grand Rapids area. They have also been innovative in creating a tool for health professionals that helps to save their ears when they're wearing masks. You can tell her eyes are smiling. Oh, you're doing it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For friend <-made> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to hear a lot more stories of encouraging and inspiring things that are going on in your homes and in our church community.